This is my first attempt at building a do-it-yourself diversity control unit. It's based on an Arduino board uh, and two RC305 receivers. They're both 5.8 gigahertz. I've chosen to use both a combination of the skewer planar wheel and uh, cloverleaf antenna. At the moment I've just got a dipole on there but I will be trying to go towards a right hand circular polarized helical uh, antenna once I get to the effort of trying to build one. Um, first of all plugging in. Initially it starts up, it does a battery check to find out whether it's a 2 cell or a 3 cell then to text whether there's any signal on item, you'll currently see there's no signal as I've not turned the transmitter on wait for it to start up we'll go through to a main screen you'll hear a slight alert, uh, that little alert is based on the signal strength for the receiver being too low now this is based on the RSSI signal from the two uh, receiver units and uh, if it's below a certain threshold then it sets up an alert just to let you know that that signal strength is going too low. Currently that's 30% of the signal strength and when it, anytime it's below that then it will have that alert. Top left hand corner will show you the battery voltage. You'll see an L1 and L2 is indicating which of the two signals uh, of the two channels is the, the strongest. Um, it doesn't always flick that frequently but that's to show which is the strongest. I'll put a bit of a buffer in there so it doesn't flick between channels too frequently and you'll see that it's currently showing as no signal. Now if I move over to my tricopter over here, tricopter once again is 5.8 gigahertz transmitter, in this case it's the cloverleaf antenna. Just plug this in. Tricopter starts up, it'll start transmitting a signal and as we come across you'll now see that the signal strength indicator has gone up to, in this case, 90%. This is then fed into fat chart, fat chart goggles at the top. I've also included a spare RCA out so I could include a second LCD monitor or a video recorder at a later stage. A few things left to do, um, but at the moment it's pretty good. I've got a few additional screens. Um, by pressing the, the navigation buttons on here you can go through them um, so I've got individual screens for each of the channels so channel 1 and a separate one for channel 2 so you can see the strength on those I may put an additional one in for battery um, the battery is being detected via a voltage divider circuit um, which was the easiest way to get it to do what I needed it to do still a few bugs in it but overall I'm really happy um, can't wait for the maiden flight to see how she goes. Cheers.